Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, they fixed your shit. God, I'm so tired of They this. did on Tumblr. Uh, we're gonna talk about this. J. Scott Campbell, very, very well-known, very popular Marvel Comics creator, uh, had his stuff fixed by some rando on Tumblr and he clapped back. He actually critiqued his fix of his art, and this is epic. This has to happen more often because Tumblr, for some reason, this is a thing where they go fix your art. Now, we've seen examples before that were uh, racially motivated. We've seen people take characters and, and change them, race bend them or whatever. In this case, the purpose was to uh, shame uh, J. Scott Campbell, who is known for drawing sexy women, to, to shame him and de-sexy MJ and also fix her leg or something, I don't know. But we have seen this trend often on art Twitter and on Tumblr and uh, maybe more professionals need to to clap back and be like, this is why I did what I did. Uh, piss off, go find something right. else. But then when this person gets called out, they pull the post down and other people go and defend them and they're like, well, they're just a teenager. They're just a teenager, oh, you shouldn't harass no, they're them. not just a teenager. It's like, my thing is, don't start a fight unless you're prepared to finish it. And and these people on Tumblr and Twitter are very good at calling people out, but they can't take the pushback. We've seen this time and time again. A lot of times they'll go call somebody out. Uh, they'll get pushback for it and then they'll block people, mm -hmm. you know, or they'll pull that. Oh, they always block. That's the first yeah. thing. Like, I only want to hear what's in my echo chamber. Eh. So we're going to talk about this fix. I think this is glorious. Uh, good on J. Scott Campbell. For clapping back again he is way more successful than this tumblr artist is right. going to be no i mean i don't hate the t i, I kind of like the t-shirt better as a woman i don't like i, I the, it was really low cut and stuff you know but i guess if that's your 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 boyfriend's picture on your boobs maybe you want your boobs popping out i don't know <laughs> um and i don't i don't think they did a bad job i just don't think they had the right to do it yeah and what's really curious about this is i, I believe this is the same person that said um you you have to ask me for uh Permission to, to tweak my but art? But you can use my art for headers, icons, etc. as long as it's clear credit. So yeah, a lot of a lot of the people who are art fixers don't like their, their own stuff to be critiqued. Uh, they want proper credit, all these demands, but then they have no problem taking other people's art. Well, then maybe people it. should go fix their art. I mean, I'm not saying go around harassing people, but I'm just like, if they're going to go do this, then that, that just means that they're open to suggestions and fixing. So somebody else can go fix their stuff. Yeah, so we're going to talk about that before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 187,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Um, yeah, so the original the original um, was, this is J. Scott Campbell's original, uh, chesty MJ, leg raised on the couch. And it got fixed. I'm going to talk about the leg raise on the couch because uh, I'm a girl and I sat on couches. And um, the reason her legs raise on the couch is that's bracing her into that position. Yeah. The other one that's been fixed, you would have had to put her legs more to the side or have her weight shifted because the way you have her, she's going to fall right off the damn couch. If you sit like that on the couch and, and your legs, your knees are on the edge like that and you're not shifting your weight, you're going to fall right off. That is true. Um, that's true. So, uh, the original is gone. Like if you click, I had to archive this because it was going to go down the memory hole, but you, you check this out. The original, uh, the original post is gone. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is the original artist here that did this. Um, but J. Scott Campbell clapped back. I, I saw this floating around Twitter today and I thought it was amazing. Uh, he said the fix is in the fix is in side note. I did know someone who sat like that all the time. You do. I know. I've seen girls sit like that, yeah. sit like that before. I, I usually, I do that. I usually tuck my foot under, like the foot that's tucked behind her butt. I usually tuck it like across my, like, you know, under my leg. Um, but I sit like that all the dang time. It's comfortable. <laughs> so Yeah. And, and you've got a t-shirt that's got my face on it. That's right. And um, it's ripped down. My boobs are just popping right out. So so my face is no, always. No, I don't. He's kidding. Always between your cleavage. He's kidding. Uh, where my face it's, belongs. That's where it belongs though. Yes. Um, anyway, uh, I did know someone who sat like that, according to J. Scott Campbell. And it was inspiring to me. I thought it was unique, cute, and showed a ton of personality. Everything you want to convey in a piece to make it stand out and catch the eye. And the reaction exceeded all my expectations. It is a very famous cover. Mm -hmm. uh, it is. So now he's going to he's gonna 
uh, Fix the Fix. Okay. Um, so over the weekend, a famous cover of mine featuring MJ from Spider-Man got a lot of attention again when it began circulating on Tumblr, Twitter, and eventually well, Facebook. Tumblr and Twitter are synonymous anymore. Right. Uh, you see someone going by the name non-binary Finn Mertens, which would basically non-binary Adventure Time stand. No, 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 wait, wait, but, but yeah, but basically there's like, they're putting that in their name, so you can't, you can't correct me or, t- or talk to me. I can do whatever they want to you because I'm putting that right in my name to tell you that you can't say anything to me. Oh, and if it's not that. Like, if, hell you can't. If it's not that they use uh, being LGBTQ as a shield, they use their age. Oh, and, I'm a teenager. No, or they're, or they're autistic. Yeah, they always always use one of those three. One of those three. Um, Always something. Uh, They took to fixing the artwork as they put it, and well, got a lot of people talking. Now, typically, I ignore this sort of thing, but it seemed to go a bit viral with even friends and colleagues reposting it, explaining that this sort of correcting of other well established artists is, well, tacky. It is. Which it is. In light of this, though, I decided to embrace the situation and do a little bit of art fixing myself. Uh, what do you think? Seems trendy. I'm up for new things. Let's have some fun. Um, so, yeah. He actually went and critiqued. I, I did. I noticed the R, and that was one of the first things that stuck out to me. Um, it's so funny, though. I catch this stuff all the time because this is what I'm trained to do. And and Neon gets mad at me. <laughs> so, I, all the time, I'm like, no, you need to turn it like this way. Well, That's wrong. And then you will literally get I, mad at me. I don't get as mad as I used to. I'll, I don't correct you now because you got mad before. No, no, no. It's fine. Actually, sometimes if, if something is really wonky, I, I, I wish you would. Um, you know, artists are uh, tend to be insecure anyway. But beyond that, when you're working on something so closely, it you know, sometimes you lose perspective of what... Well, it actually looks like from. I remember you know, the one piece you were doing as a, a sample piece for a job, and I told you to change certain things, and you like, no, it's fine, it's fine. And then went to the editor, and the editor said the exact same damn things I said. And I'm like, I'm trained to do this, so you know, you got someone right there who's trained to catch this crap. Part part of it too was you know when I used to draw by hand more often. You know now I do. You don't want to fix it. Yeah, mo- mostly now I do everything digitally. Well, but this ba- is digital, so there's no excuse. Yeah, back then though. It was like, oh my God, this is an inked finished piece. Do you have any idea the amount of work it's going to take to yes, fix it? Yes, yes, I did. Yeah, because I I have a degree in art. I know, <laughs> so. I know, but that that's the thing. Like, it's so much easier now. It's like, oh, okay, well, the head's too small. I can just you know redraw the head. You know, bada bing, bada boom. But back yeah, then, back it was like, then, a head was a pain in the ass. Back then, it was like, oh my god, now I have to take and actually like either white it out, which is gonna, or cut out a piece, another piece of bristle, and like paste over and try to match it up. And it was, yeah, yeah. So well, anyway, let's look at his corrections. But the arm, the arm thing, I saw the Popeye arm comment, and I was like, oh my god, that's one of the first things I noticed. Well, I, I want to get his disclaimers here, okay. which are great because this is what they always use. Uh, we have non-binary Finn's initial fixing of my artwork. Be respectful now, as non-binary Finn clearly states, it's not perfect, and don't look too closely at it, it's fine. I saw that, I saw that. Seems non-binary Finn might feel a bit sensitive about their art. Yeah, well, it's not their art. They just no. stole somebody else's art and then tried to fix it. That's what, that's one thing you keep seeing. They're always taking other people's art and fixing it. They're not putting their art out there and telling people to fix it. Right. I mean, at that point, fine. If you're this, if you're this ballsy um, or non-ballsy, because I'm not going to judge, why don't you go ahead and put your artwork out and let other people fix it too? I take my opportunity to return the favor and generously offer my critique of non-binary Finn's fixing. Non-binary Finn didn't ask for my criticism, but that's okay. I'm just giving it that. You know, way. Like people would love the opportunity to have you know him critique their art oh, and yeah. give them you know. I mean, a lot of people would love the chance. Um, third, I took time out of my busy, busy schedule to redraw and fix all of non-binary Finn's mistakes, and there were many. There, there, yeah, I noticed. Uh, I then share how their artistic vision would be improved with my fixing. Feel free to look as closely as you want. Hey, maybe non-binary Finn is onto something. Maybe unsolicited correcting no one asked for is fun. Hope this was educational, kids. Okay. Oh boy, here it comes. Uh, so right here, Popeye arm. That's the, one of the first things I noticed. Yep. The outer inner elbow is especially narrow here, and the forearm appears swollen and oddly bulbous. Mm-hmm, it is. I would allow for some artistic stylization here, but since it appears the non-binary doesn't allow for much in the way of an artistic exaggeration and insists on accurate anatomy, 
I'm going to have to rule on this just being, well, wrong and in need of fixing. Because they were like, well, we have to fix it because her back was curved too much and she's too skinny and uh, and her boobs were too big and everything else. And, you know, also you have to consider when this was made and what the art style at the time and the popular yeah. style was. Yeah. And they're basing it on what is popular now. And that's like, they're two different things, you know? Well, yeah, because her forearm is it is wrong bigger right? than her bicep. I noticed. I that. mean, I, look, I used to I used to curl when I was younger. I used to curl and I had some pretty big forearms, but they, my biceps were still bigger than my forearms. And she's she's a model. She's not curling. My, she's probably working out, but she's not curling. And the other thing I noticed here is her other arm looks wrong. Like, it doesn't look like it's placed correctly. You know what I mean? Yeah. If she was like that, you wouldn't see her shoulder there like that. Not unless she's oddly misshapen or Picasso-esque or her one arm's really big compared to her other. <sighs> I feel bad embarrassing non-binary since most artists I know with class don't typically act that way. But since it would seem uh, NB is open to the concept of openly critiquing artists... <laughs> I feel compelled to reciprocate oh, no. and point out that the uh, clavicle bones here are placed they entirely are too, high. too high up. They are. They're like it looks right like her neck is broken yeah. and she'd be like, uh, yeah, like her, her body is shifted different way from her neck. Um, They should be down, down here. Much lower. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I'm sorry. This is this. Uh, uh, not well, all this heroes. Is good. Not all heroes wear capes. I'm just saying. Non-binary has decided that the original breast size shirt cleavage in late 2000s midriff was incorrect and needed fixing too. As an artist, I'm used to uh, referring to that as a preference rather than a correct or incorrect, but let's go with their premise for shits and giggles. <laughs> Non-binary seems to have created what looks like uh, more of a swimsuit effect, lacking uh, wrinkling, tucking, fabric pulling, right. etc. It it's painted big. on. Yeah. I don't think that's not even painted on. If it was no. even painted on, you'd have more... Um, more lines than that. Well, this I, I've noticed this in a lot of... She must be wearing a shaper underneath. Yeah, right. Uh, it's one hell of a shaper. Like they, Well, they, they make... You should see some of these things really? shapers will do. If you don't like to breathe and you don't plan on sitting, there are some amazing things that shapers can do. If this were a cartoony art style like uh, Batman the Animated Series or something where there just weren't really wrinkles because everything was streamlined... That would make sense. But right. When you, but have when you like look at the jeans and the hair. And the, and they, yeah. Even the freckles. Thank you for putting the freckles on the redhead. Because I myself have many freckles. Um, and on my on my shoulders and stuff too. Um, so, you know, yeah, that's a very valid point. And what bothers me is her arm. Her arm looks like it's broken over here to me. I just can't get past that. Like the Popeye arm and the arm over here are bothering me. Well, it's because look, right now, because of the way that they changed the shoulder, like here's the shoulder. It's it should in be shadow. Right it, should, it, 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 it shouldn't It shouldn't be. The other arm maybe down here should be out some, but the shoulder is it wouldn't be visible for a reason because it, wait, I don't know. Sorry, but it's driving me nuts. I can't help but notice that rather than looking relaxed and cozied into the couch with her warm coffee uh, and like, in the original that MJ instead now has the energy of a perky, obedient puppy. This doesn't seem to be the MJ I know, but who am I well, to say? Redheads aren't usually a very obedient. And yeah, again, she's going to fall off the damn couch. That looks very uncomfortable. Non-binary felt the original way MJ was sitting was impossible to them. And because they don't sit that way or never saw anyone in their own life sit that way, that this must in fact be incorrect. Either that or it was just too alluring. I think it's a too alluring and sexy idea. Because I, I know people that sit that way. I sit that way. I mean, I tuck I my leg under, but I sit that find way. find it alluring and sexy. Especially when you wear that shirt with my face on it. I don't it. have a shirt with your face on it. You prefer I don't wear a shirt with at all. But that's another story. Well, then my face would be totally... <laughs> Oh, did I say that? I shouldn't have said that. Uh, you know, anyway. yeah, no, I'm embarrassed. Don't, Either, you need to cut that out. You're not going to, though. I know you aren't. Anyway, continue. Either that or it was just too alluring or too sexy. Well, that's the thing. It's like, there. look, I, we talk about this all the time. At some point, like, the far left people on Tumblr have become the new religion. Like, Back in the day, it was it was uh, Christians, uh, you know, like that would go and cover characters up. Yeah, and... they have to be dressed from head to ankle. They can't even show ankles. You've got it, you know. Her knees are exposed. <gasps> oh my God, her knees! Well, uh, I, I like this part. He said, um, you know, the the, the non buyer solution of closed parallel kneeling legs instead isn't necessarily wrong. I, it, I think it is. She'd fall off the damn couch. Yeah. One could argue it's certainly somewhat static and unimaginative, dare I say boring. And that's true. Here's the thing about we found, we've learned with comics and um, web, web comics or writer comics. You need visual dynamics. You, you, you need to use the art elements and principles of design to move people's eye around that piece. If it's boring and static, people are not going to like it. It, how, it. And we always are striving to create more movement. I know you are. Yeah. Create more movement in pieces. When I say we, I mean him. Um, 
And I know that's one thing that you always bothers you. You're always afraid you don't have enough movement going on. Yeah, I mean, sometimes my, my stuff looks really cartoony, but I'm like, I, I you know, I, my thing is like, I'm always trying to get like, how do you get that like perfect frame, you know, because my stuff has never been hyper realistic, but I'm always looking for movement. And I'm always drawn to art that maybe it's not the most photorealistic, but it's lively. The, the thing that really turns me off, which is why I never really went for the super photorealistic comic book artist is art that looks static. It looks dead. Like it's really well rendered, but it just, it doesn't breathe. See, the other one, know? she looks kind of sad and, and PO'd. Now she just looks like, uh, and whatever. Well, now he, he fixed the fix it. And I want to point out, he shifted her weight. Like he, I said, because yes. she was like that, she'd fall right off the damn couch. Now I have not seen this. Uh, actually, Neon looked at this stuff before I've seen it. Cause I think he wanted my fresh take on it. Yeah. So I didn't know what he fixed, what he didn't fix, what he said, and what he didn't say, be be say before I got to this video. So when I was making what I noticed in the comments I made, that was before I even saw anything that he had done. So yeah. So see, I was um, right again. Told you, <laughs> editors so, would love me. <laughs> so now, now what he needs to do, uh, J. Scott Campbell needs to sell this as as another like variant cover. So Marvel right. needs to sell this as the the fix of the fix. And again, you know, he brings up that this this was drawn, you know, two thousand nine. Mm -hmm. So that was that was. And look, the, the whole purpose of the they want you to buy the comic. Just having MJ sitting on the couch drinking coffee isn't exciting, but having her boobs pop out. And having her legs that way, it was like, oh, hey, it's MJ. And look, she's all hot to trot and Spider-Man's leaving her, you know? Like, that was kind of the, probably the point. Like, they're not going to yeah, come out and say that, but thing, that probably was a point. It's, it's like, you, back then you were, allowed to, you were allowed to draw things that look good. Now it's like, you see some of the art that they're passing off as professional nowadays, and I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, mock people. But I see some of this art that actually they got paid to do these books. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I literally have seen, and I, as an art teacher, I've literally seen, like, middle school kids do better art. And I'm not trying, trying to be a bitch. I'm just telling you that, that that's the truth. I've actually seen kids... Middle school, you know, high school, you know, definitely high school, do far better art pieces than some of the stuff they're paying people to do. I guess it gives hope to those who feel like they can't draw. You yeah. know, there's that, you know, silver lining. But anyway, continue. He said, he said, I was pleased to see that even though non-binary was unaccepting of my figure stylization and exaggeration that they left uh, my unrealistic and stylishly interesting smoke unfixed. So I did too. Like, yeah. If you had this in your living room, it would be time to call it Ghostbusters, yeah. <laughs> you know, or maybe the Ghost Brothers because you know, they're a lot more I like fun. The Ghost I like the Ghost Brothers anyway because this looks like spectral energy coming out of her coffee cup. Mm. Doctor Strange put a little something in her coffee. He was waiting for Peter Parker to leave. Oh, see, that's not cool. Don't make that joke. Anyway, um, it was perfectly consensual. She knew because she's not getting it from Peter. Okay, well, yeah, because Peter's out slinging webs with other people. Maybe she knows. Maybe she knows this is her future and one of the. You know, it's Mephisto's in her coffee cup. I was gonna say maybe she knows some of her future, and at least one of the the multiverses is that she you know is going to die from uh, radioactive spiders. <laughs> so I'm just like, yeah. I don't know. I mean, anyway. you want to fix something? Fix that damn story. Fix that story. Fix the Gwen Stacy Green Goblin hookup story. Just wait, what? Oh, you didn't know about that? No, I didn't. Know okay, that. so we can't leave Gwen Stacy dead. So back in the day, I think it was about 10 or 12 years ago, they, they had a story where Gwen Stacy had kids with the Green Goblin and in between comics, she apparently had a fling with the Green Goblin, which makes literally no sense whatsoever. So it's like they desecrated. That's ew. It is because he was like 40 something. And she was a teenager. Was but he 20s. turned into it's, like a little goblin though. Well, later. It's complicated. Anyway. That's crazy. They desecrated Gwen Stacy again. Then they eventually settled on other world Gwen Stacy being Spider Gwen. I don't know. Um, I like Spider Gwen though. Anyway, continue. Spider Gwen's okay. We need to get we need to get through this because you uh, have an appointment soon. Yeah. Um. So I want to read the I wanted to read the rest of his corrections. Why'd you stop? Because I was gonna look at the the hot take comments, but go ahead, read his. Oh, we'll look at the comments in a minute. Overall, I think my corrections to non-binary Finn's version. I'm gonna say NBF. It's easier. Retains the general idea of their fixing of MJ's overall level of sexiness from 2009 that made him uncomfortable enough to go through the hassle of creating the corrected version in the first place, while bringing back in the more visually interesting, more relaxed and generally more you know, 
is it, I think it's supposed to be feminine, but it says mm-hmm. famine. Posture. Well, she's I'm been, sorry, Tally. She thinks if she loses weight, Peter will find her attractive again. I, I think she was such a girl thing um, that I felt was present in my original version. And I agree. I do agree with you because the way the weight was shifted and the other draw, it, it did not work. She was going to slide right off that damn couch. Also, I want to point out the way she's sitting, you would have the biggest Ouija and wedgie that I've ever seen. And you would not be very comfortable with your pants shoved up your, unless you're into that kind of thing. Um, and then I talked about rather than fixing the obedient puppy posture, I closed the legs and reintroduced a more curled up, cozy, relaxed vibe. See, you can tell they do that. I also broke up the, pa- the parallel legs and instead have one now crung up over the other, which feels more natural. Yes. And sexy. Yes. I did stick with the bent elbows out and arms to the side. That was important to NBF, but went ahead and corrected their elbow and forearm issues. Don't blame you. And I went along with NBF, NBF's basic premise that cleavage, larger breasts, and midriffs are inherently incorrect. And ca- So all you women out there who have bigger boobs and like the word crop tops, how dare you? <laughs> um, you don't get to make that choice for yourself uh, because NBF says that that's wrong. So good now you know that you don't get to have control over what you wear and how you wear it. Um, other people are going to decide it for you. Um I kept all those rules and I felt compelled to add back in some shirt wrinkles and some indication of tugging and shadowing from the breast, which is bad because she has boobs again. Uh, so anyway, go ahead. Yeah, no, I think it's I think it's fun. They ends with, uh, hey, maybe non-binary Finn is on to something. Maybe unsolicited correcting no one asked for is fun. I love that sketch so much. I don't know why, but I really love that sketch. Yeah, I actually I actually like. This. Like I would buy that sketch. I like it. That well, much. I'm sure it's probably going to be for sale. I like it that much, but I'm uh, sure I can't afford the sketch, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, hey, there's Elvik. There's Elvik. Hey, Elvik. I, uh, I love the original. Your fix of the fix is also lovely. I still prefer the original, though. The exaggerated proportions are just enough. It's a nice balance that fits in with my personal preference. That face, stunning. Mostly, I love the original pose. It was a classic cover. It, mm-hmm. it was, but it was also problematic and a product of its time. Like Marvel stopped doing Marvel style work around 2010 2012 like 2013 2014 rolls around all of a sudden you know things just kind of start to steer away from the marvel that's look. when they know that's when they all started whining about women being kept out that's when i got kicked out of that article because i didn't you know toe the line that all women were treated wrong and kept out of marvel or out of mainstream um that was all around that time yeah so here here we go this is but basically when tumblr and web comics people started coming into to oh, of course here mainstream we come. comics here we, come. here we come the original critique critique by non-binary is of the male gaze present in your first i think illustri- he's aware that you don't have to clarify uh, he him. is uh, i don't think anyone could question your technical competence what's being discussed are the political implications political implications of your stylistic what choices. are the political implications i'm a woman this is a guy please explain to me a female, what the political, you don't get to tell them, what are the political implications? You know, I'm just so tired of this. I'm uh, a redhead too, by the way, so. So Jay Scott Campbell replies, I'm saying this as politely as I can, basically, fuck off. Uh, this internet crit lingo, the male gaze, is maybe one of the most head-scratching arguments I've ever heard. You better believe I want gazing in my artwork. Long, affectionate gazing from both men and women. I'm a commercial artist. And women, right. How come they about the fact that women like it too? Uh, women, we, there are women who are into women. Are they allowed to look at women? Because you're, you're mad and try to blame it all on men. Yeah, right. Stop being sexist. This stop being, you know, stop ins- uh, assuming people's, uh, you know, meaning. Oh my God. This is, this is where it gets ridiculous though. Damn bro. There really is nothing cooler than a professional in their late forties shaming someone in their teens. That's just not trying a teenager. To make your, yeah, no, wasn't a teenager. Just trying to make your hypersexualized art into a view uh, that doesn't make women uncomfortable. You're definitely not just sexist or hypersexualizing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So wait, there, there, so wait. Damn you, dude. How dare you get mad that somebody, and even handle it in a very nice way, that somebody is taking your art without permission and changing it and trying to say that they're fixing it for the modern times uh, because of women. Uh, I'm a woman. Damn, dude. How dare you speak? Is it a woman or a man? Who submitted that comment? Uh, guy, I think. Possibly. Uh, I don't know. How dare, how, you know, Dan, Dan, you know, how dare you if you're a guy tell me a woman what I should and shouldn't like? How misogynistic of you. Uh, here we've got somebody with all the correct uh, correct information in their, their profile. I think it's hilarious. This is cartoonish. This is like cartoonish. Like, And just got Campbell, if I remember correctly, did a cover of Riri Williams' Uh, when she first came out and he got all kinds of pushback because he actually gave her curves 
And they're like, you're hypersexualizing a teenage character. And he's like, no, I'm just drawing a 16 or 17 year old like she would actually look, you know? I said, you know what? Don't buy the cover. Is it like a variant? I think it was a variant cover. Um, they're like, just Their don't critique buy it. was unsolicited. I think they were commenting on the socio political. Here's the thing dudes, stop telling, you know, you people how they shouldn't try and draw other men, how they shouldn't try and draw women, and then try to speak for women. Just stop. Just stop. Stop your misogyny, mansplain bullshit. This is where not really mansplain, but I'll just throw it back at them because they like to use it against you know people all the time. This is where this is where I get I got okay. Fighting fire with fire is an irresponsible use of your power as an artist with a huge following. I hope they're not harassed by your followers. But it's okay if they go around and 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 then target this guy and have their followers harass them. That's, that's exactly, completely fine. That's exactly what's going on here. Yeah. So you know what? I don't agree with anybody for harassing anyone, but that's 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 exactly what you yourself are doing. The fix was better, dude. The way you apply the male gaze—it was gaze, not better. No, the way you apply the male gaze to all female characters you draw isn't particularly cute or sexy, especially when it's underage characters like uh, Yara Floor and Ghost Spider. Oh my God, you're problematic. Um, don't worry about it. the other day. People know who J. Scott Campbell is. They don't give two shits who these other people are. So many people, well, okay, here's somebody defending. So many people acting like you just uh, name searched and found some rando to pick on. If the fix went viral and loads of people were discussing it, then it's absolutely a legit thing to respond to. Yeah, it is. That's the only reason he responded to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely the case. I saw this continually posted. Yeah, this was out there for like seven or eight months. Mm -hmm. I saw this continually posted and reposted for almost a week before bothering to chime in. It was out there for months before that. I by no means made this person well known. That already happened. It was an alias uh, anon anyway, so it didn't seem particularly sensitive. Um, and they changed, I believe they changed their Tumblr username. Yeah, so they're using an anonymous name, but using this person's art in their name so that you people can go harass them. But you can't, har you, but you shouldn't harass them back. No, bullshit. If they're going to make fun of your art, you would by all means have a right to, to you know, comment back or critique back or fix their fix. Um, I, uh, you know, if you want to go fix their art, you know, you should, you should be allowed to do it. It's, it's all fair game. This is literally, you know, kind of what happened with the, you know, we talked about that rewriting Ripley podcast and they, they had a thing out there yesterday that you responded to where they were talking about like, yeah, oh my. Accept, then send that to me. Yeah. Yeah. And they were talking about how, oh my God, female journalists are being harassed because they're being targeted when they literally targeted female journalists like yourself. Right. They comment about how, you know, it's not fair. You shouldn't, people shouldn't be harassed and, and, and targeted. And then they, they make these fake, you know, graphics about us being these things that we're not so that people will target and harass us. And I actually have more journalistic background than these people do. I love this. Me sewing. Ha, ah, fuck yeah. Me reaping. Well, this fucking sucks. What the oh fuck? Oh no, hurry, save me, everyone. God. Okay, so here they're basically tumblers coming to their defense to, to non-binary Finn Mertens or whatever their users. But there's not now. many, are there? Not really. That just tells you in the greater um, scheme of things, no one gives a shit. Yeah, so this is uh, funny. Um... Sir, I understand. Again, I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are because I don't read those nasty man comics from, you know, more than five years ago. Well, that's okay. Because the ones they sell now don't make any money. Sir, I understand that non-binary fans commentary on your art was unwelcome. But the mature and adult thing would have been to message them privately to speak it, with them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. That, I, I love this one, too. The mature and adult thing would have been to try to talk to them. Do you know what happens when you try to ask them questions? Even if you're very friendly and you're very polite, you get blocked immediately and they don't talk to you. They talk about you behind your back. I've run into this time and time again. Who says they didn't write to them? I mean, I'm just saying it wouldn't have made a difference. Did that person, was, was the professional right thing for them to do to, to write to J. Scott Campbell first to ask if they could even use his artwork? Because, you know, there might be some legal ramifications for doing that. Um, and they didn't do it. But if you do ask them, they're not going to talk to you. They automatically block you. And then they, and then they have their friends send you threats. Uh, I didn't do it for me. I used a very public and viral meme as a teachable moment for some of the youth out there that no one appreciates this. Uh, this isn't a good look. This is what some might call parody or humor or make a bigger point. I'm sorry if it was missed by you. Yeah, it was definitely parody or humor. Hey, Scott, this has been up for a while, but know that you can still delete it. Much no. love. Hey, no. Gus, sit and spin. Yeah. Um, art fix is never about experienced artists helping amateurs better their art with constructive criticism or correcting perspectives by proportion setters it's about changing what the original artist made to conform to some biased worldview, uh, void the personality. Uh, Basically, yes. I find it problematic. So and now, he even took it a step further and then said, okay, well, I'm going to help you fix your version. And then, I mean, not only people would pay to have that opportunity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, remember the Joe Kubert School? Like, people paid a lot of money to go to the Joe Kubert School and learn from professionals how to draw comic book art. 
uh, from people who actually got paid to do comic book art, not just armchair quarterback from Tumblr or Twitter. Um, just like, stop taking people's artwork without permission and changing it. Yeah. Well, and, and, but, or if you are completely okay with it, you think that this should continue to fix art, that if people fix art back, you don't get to sit there and say anything. Oh. I'm sorry. That's how it works. Well, here, Nazi Kicker, Nazi Kicker says, mm -hmm. J. Scott Campbell being a sensitive man baby about the work he's already been paid a shit ton for and throwing a tantrum about a correct critique of how he's constant, consistently drawing women. It wasn't a correct shocked. critique from an art teacher's perspective. Some of the things they changed were not correct. I'm sorry. Well, here again, yeah, being a small Tumblr account doesn't give them the right to give unsolicited advice. I understand that they're uncomfortable with the sexualization of women. That's totally understandable. I'm in the same boat. However... I'm failing to see where this hypersexualization is. In the original image, her breasts look way less sexualized than the fixed image, where you can see the whole outline. Yeah, before they were kind of squished together because she had mm -hmm. her arms. Her hand, arms, yeah. Which together. Most women don't don't stand like that, to be fair. But yeah, I, I mean, mean I'm just like I, what I have a problem with is whether or not you agree with the changes or not. The problem is you don't have a right to go change things just because you don't like it. You don't unless you have permission. You don't. You would not like it if someone took your art. Well, they didn't took your art and then fixed it. They got all butt hurt and mad. And then they call out that person for how dare you? How dare you call out and fix the art of the person who who took your art without permission and fixed it in quotes to begin with? How very dare you? Well, this is this is the culture and this is what, you know, it's a bigger issue. It's not just his art. It's a lot of people's art. And it's mostly a lot of successful uh, artists who are getting paid a lot of money to draw art that a lot of people like. And it doesn't mean that other people are missing out on opportunities. It just means that their art is more commercially viable. It is what it is. But then we see it again with the race angle where everybody's like, I'm going to, you know, race bend your characters. or You should have made Knuckles black and da 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 You're racist because the character's too light skinned. Uh, people are going to push back. They should push back. I think in this case, they need to push back. So bravo, J. Scott Campbell. Well, I did bring up the clavicle and his was similar. Yeah, That's not yeah, true. Yeah. But also you have to understand, guys, when your arms, okay, here's why his is not wrong. I'll tell you why. Take right now, take your hands and put them in the position that hers are in. What are your, what does your shoulders do? Where does your clavicle go? Just, just try it and see. Who's, and now, now you do it, now relax it and do it the way the other guy did it. Where does your clavicle go? Yeah. That's why his clav the clavicle is up high. It looks looks correct on that picture. Um, just as an art teacher. And that one's for free. What was the song? Do your knees hang low? Does your clavicle hang low? I don't know. Is it as thick as your elbow? Well, I don't want that there's... <laughs> their balls don't hang low. We're going to wrap this one up. Yep. All right. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.